Are you looking for a good budget deck? Well, look no further. What up, what up, what up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Ruxora, and here we do all things Match the Gathering. Today we are doing a budget deck. This is my take on Is It Delver. I wanted to do a budget deck list for quite a while um, to kind of help people out who are just starting out and also do an original deck list, uh, one of my own creation, um, to kind of showcase to people that making your own deck and, and being able to win games is still possible in this age of, you know, databases and deck list sources. Um, you know, you can still have some type of creativity here. So I'm going to go over the deck real quick and then we'll take it into the actual um, rank ladder and see how a deck can do. Uh, so my idea for the deck, um, you know, was still an inspiration um, after the Divide by Zero ban. So, you know, the bans are on. Um, if you weren't aware of those bans, we have Divide by Zero band as well as... Um, um, Faceless Haven, as well as Alrin's Epiphany. So all of those are gone. Um, so we are still have the Snowlands here for our first rare here in Ascendant Spirit, uh, which, you know, can just kind of be an early threat. Um, you can activate it, make it large, uh, or you can just, uh, you know, hold up the mana as well as with some of your instant speed reaction, which can, which can be really nice. We've got um, some cantrips here for Consider. Uh, we've got Delver of Secrets, which isn't the best card. You know, uh, you know, a lot of people, you know, think this card's amazing. A lot of some people think this card is horrible. I'm kind of in the middle here. It's kind of serving of, um, you know, kind of a necessary function of being a filler card, and that you know we need a certain amount of threats and ways to win the game. But uh, really, it's just here to be a play on turn one, um, and hopefully it flips on turn two. We do have, uh, I want to say, twenty three spells. Um, so pretty good, um, you know, not the best, but still pretty good, um, odds for Delver. Um, we've got Fading Hope for interaction to clear the board and also do some scry action. Um, you see a guard approach is here to give hexproof to some of our threats in case you get some removal. Um, play with fire, again, just standard good card here. And then we have some of our other threats here in Magmatic Channeler and Thermo Alchemist, which really reward us for casting lots of spells. Magmatic Channeler is going to get bigger. It's the other rare that is really necessary here. You'd need this card to make the deck work. We've got Thermo Alchemist to reward us for, again, casting lots of spells. If you get one to two of these on the battlefield and start slewing off lots of spells, you can really... Um, end games pretty decisively. Of course, we have Expressive Iteration. This is a, a great budget card. It's powerful. It's an uncommon. Great. We've got one copy of Inspired ID here. Um, I wanted to try this card out um, because it is a powerful card to, you know, three mana draw three. And this particular deck isn't trying to hold lots of cards in hand um, and really needs some kind of way to refuel. And then we've got four copies of Igneous Inspiration, um, and then we've got a slew of the more common uh, rarity learn cards. We're not trying to cast Mascot Exhibition here because we're not really going to get up to seven mana, so that works well. We've got kind of Elemental Summonings for that other kind of purpose, but really one of the cards that I think is the best here is Mercurial Transformation. Um, which can make our, you know, Ascendant Spirit into a 4-4, or our Thermal Alchemist into a 4-4. Heck, can turn this into a 4-4 and then uh, can get big, right? Oh, it loses all its abilities, right? Never mind. But, you know, um, still can be good with Delver or Ascendant Spirit. Um, and then also Introduction to Prophecy, just giving us an extra draw, um, can be really nice. So I really like Igneous Inspiration the way it works. Also can just use it to discard and draw if we really want to. And like we, we want to draw a good spell. Like that's always an option. So yeah. And then we've got, um, you know, no dual lands here. Um, you might ask, you know, hey, like, you know, um, you know, what if we need rares for the mana base here? No pathways and no nothing like that necessary here. In fact, it's almost better because you don't have you don't want to um, get in the way of your ascendant spirit here. Um, yeah, so that is the deck. We've got eight rares. We've got three ascendant spirits, four magmatic channelers, one inspired idea. Otherwise, everything is an a common or uncommon. Really wanted to stick to that. I think eight is pretty good balance both for budget but also power level. Um, and again, trying to include powerful uncommon cards like Expressive Iteration and Delver, uh, Play With Fire, you know, 
Um, so yeah, that is the deck. We're going to take this into best of one. Again, don't have a sideboard. Wanted to not do a sideboard again. Again, marketing this towards beginners. Um, so, you know, not wanting to overcomplicate things. Uh, have extra cards on the sideboard. Also make things harder for budget because a lot of good sideboard cards tend to be rares or mythics. So, yeah, that that's my idea for the deck. My idea for the deck is, again, just play with some of these uh, early creatures, cast lots of spells, beat down, and win the game. Uh, let's see how well we did. All right, so here for game one, and we've got a, a somewhat awkward hand, but I think it's still keepable. We've got, uh, you know, Thermal Alchemist or or um, something. Do we actually go Thermal Alchemist into Expressive Iteration? Yeah, maybe we do that. I don't mind that. These Delvers are super awkward. This is like, again, when I say like Delvers aren't particularly uh, good here. All right, so we've got some kind of blue card in Fortel. So we're going to activate this first. Then cast our Expressive Iteration, and then untap our guy here. Wow, another Thermal Alchemist is not bad, actually. I don't mind that at all. And we'll play our Delver, and we'll pass the turn. All right, off to a good start. All right, so this is some form of blue-white control, uh, which actually means we could be favorable here if this Delver flips. Delver flip? Dang. Sag. Um, that's all right. Um, so you can just go attacking. We'll, we'll, we'll hit with our, with our Delver. Um, and I think we just play an island here. Cast our Thermal Alchemist. And pass. I think we want to not play into a Wrath here. And play our second Delver. I think we actually just pass here. So what I want to do is I want to wait until I can slew off a bunch of spells with two Thermal Alchemists. Uh, if they don't play a Plains and Wrath us here, that would be amazing. What is this? Sunset Revelry. That is unfortunate. Um, but... I will live. So let's let that happen. Go to my turn. Doesn't flip again. Yeah, I like this is this is why Delver is not uh, really a card that we want to see here. Um, anyways, we're going to go ahead and flurry off our Thermal Alchemist here. We're going to kind of do a, a go off here, you could say. Um, untap our Thermo Alchemists by casting Expressive Iteration. Play with Fire is a pretty good one. Um, also, so is Fading Hope. I think I am putting Play with Fire into my hand. This on the bottom and this here. Tap our Thermo Alchemists again. We are going to deal a lot of damage this turn. Cast a Fading Hope on a token. Untap our Thermal Alchemists. And if we see a spell here, we're probably going to strike to the top so that Delver flips next turn. Alright, so we activate these. Activate these. Um, do we want to... So we're going to play another Delver. I don't really want to do that. I think what I'm going to do here is probably cast Consider on End Step. And also try to play with fire and scry a spell. I guess I did. Oh, I did need to cast this fading hope. I was saying like the reason why I'm not casting these again is because they're instant speed. No reason to give my opponent that information. Um, all right, so let's start off with consider. Untap the thermal alchemists. Um, Fading Hope. I think I'm going to keep that. Pay. Cast a Play with Fire. And this will, since I'm, I'm casting it on them, will allow me to scry one. <laughs> and they concede. All right. 
So opponent there, you know, we they had all their pathways, they had all of their, you know, fancy, fancy control cards in their hand, and whatever it was, wasn't good enough. All right, so we are on the play here, which is really good. We've got a great hand for being on the play because we get turn one Ascendant Spirit. We can activate it if we want to, which I think we probably will. Yeah, our opponent plays an island or uh, planes there. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and uh, bop. So off to a good start here. Next turn we can actually make this into a four four uh, with flying, by the way. Uh, that's fine, right? We can play... Ooh. I think I might just let this go and play with fire this. I, I, I'm, I'm always, like, very much you need to answer this card. So I'll go ahead and do that here. Shame we can't play our Magmatic Channeler. But we can cast a consider here. We have a um you see a guard approach, so if they skyclave me, okay. That's fine. I think I am gonna cast this consider if we draw a card. I think I'm gonna graveyard that actually. I don't think that's gonna be very helpful here. Um they can take UC a guard approach if they want. They're probably taking Magmatic Channeler if I had to guess. Which, if that's the case, like, okay. And this is the great part about having such cheap spells, is, like, them making us pay, you know, uh, two more mana for this, while impactful, would be a lot more impactful if this was, let's say, a three or a four mana card. Alright, so they do decide to take the Magmatic Channeler. That is a okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and play the island here. I don't think it particularly matters, and we'll go attack in here. And they don't block, so we will make our ascendant spirit into a four four with flying, and we'll pass. Um, so once again, this, this, you see a guard approach is really benefiting, yep, an opponent controls. So yeah, so we're going to go ahead and give this hex proof now. So that this is going to come into play and do nothing. So, um, yeah. Now, I think... Even though they have this, like they've shown to have some some of these, I'm going to stick to my guns and uh, just activate this again. I want to say, well, let me let me go attacking first, see if they do anything. They don't seem to have anything, so now we can we can give the two counters and we get to draw a card, and they either answer this or die, right? All right, so they have Faithful Absence. Like, okay. Uh, and this doesn't gain them anything yet. All right, so we can cast this Magmatic Channeler, and we can have this Consider up. Ooh, that's a nice one. Yep, so here's Magmatic Channeler, and it's essentially a 4-4. Four -four. Elite Spellbinder, you say. Okay. So they cast that, they're going to target us. We're going to cast get the Consider in response and see what we can do here. So now it is a 4-4. Four -four. They are probably going to take this Igneous Inspiration. Yep. Okay. They're going to attack us. Hopefully they don't have... Okay, that's okay. That's okay. All right, that's fine. This is fun. Oh, wait. That makes our magmatic channeler smaller. All right. Wait, does it? In your graveyard. One, two. What did they exile? Oh, they exiled the Ascendant Spirit? Weird. 
All right. Um, so now if I attack, uh, let me cast this first. I think I'm casting this first. Oh uh, yeah, because I was like, now I'm getting a fading. Now I'm getting a fading hope. So let's play this. Let's cast this fading hope here, and they have to chump here. Yeah. I don't think I want a magmatic ch another magmatic channeler. I'd like a way to close out the game. They're kind of forced to block here, or else, really. Uh, right? Because I do... Or am I just dead? No, 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 no. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. Because they have exactly nine. Uh, and unless they can do ten. Like, this can do... Yeah, that's nine. And then... Wow, exactsies. Wow. What a game. Uh, just decline. What a game. That was very close. Do they not realize that they could exile? I think if they exile the spell there. Yeah, so that's kind of an element of like, all right, opponent had a bunch of rares, but we were able to play there, um, you know, and, and have the advantage. And that does kind of showcase, it, like, kind of proof right there that, you know, it's, it is a, a skill game. <laughs> All right, so here we are for our next game, and our hand is a little awkward. Um, again, this this fjord is is awkward, but I'm gonna play it, and we'll play probably our two creatures here. What does this do? Whenever you cast a kick spell, put a counter. So I could just delver and pass. Which I'm probably gonna do. Yeah, I'm I'm just gonna do this. And if they cast a kick spell and I play with fire in response. Okay, that's fine. Um so let's just let's see what they get off of this first. This is clearly some kind of blue-green kicker deck. Uh, into the royal, you say. Uh, this is just get a kicker spell. Okay. So yeah, I think I'm I'm just removing this. Um. No flip, of course, of course not. Um. I can just play my play all my all my stuff here. Yeah, we can just ascendant spirit delver. Play with fire. We are, you know, probably not going to have a very good Thermal Alchemist here, but, um, next door we can do our Ascendant Spirit thing. Um, that doesn't play well into the Into the Royal, but that's fine. Except if we draw land, you can go, uh, land, activate, and Thermal Alchemist, and that would make our next turn better for making this a 4-4. Please. Oh, come on. Like, I just... I just want to flip my Delva. What does this do? Alright, you know what? Well, I don't even care what it does. I'm killing it. Um, I think I would like the draw to... The draw card here. Right? I could also do this. But I think I'm just getting intro to prophecy. Hmm. Like I could I could be winning this game so hard right now if I could just flip my delvers. Oh, if I could only flip my delvers. Alright. Um so actually now this can just be a 4-4. So, like, now I'm going to kind of beat them. See if they play into that. All right, they don't. That's fine.
Bam. And like now they could just into the royal me, but again, hopefully next turn Delver flips, please. So like now they can into the royal kicked. Uh, whenever you cast a kick spell, remove two counters. If you do copy that spell, that's fine. Interesting. Yep. So he copies it and then returns my Delver here. Yep, and he's got a 1 1. It's removed. Yeah, remove two counters. That's fine. So I'm not blocking here. No way. Please flip. Thank you. All right. Uh, so now we can just get in with our Delver. Re I think just re dump our hand again. Cast this. Cast this. Cast this. And and say go. Like I I. What what you got? And so you can kind of see how Delver is helpful here, just being a, a, a sometimes being a 3-2. Um, it's going to help us hopefully have some reach here if they don't have a blocker. Like, we should be able to, like, Thermal Alchemist and go off here, yeah. Honestly, if we draw land, Fading Hope, and then making us a 4-4 again, like, seems great. Bubble Snare, you say? Yeah, that's fine. We get a Fading Hope our own, dude. I'm actually going to put a stop on my upkeep for that. Yeah, so in response, I'm going to activate Thermal Alchemist. Uh, and then Fading Hope, my own guy. Resolve. To hopefully flip my own Delver. And either it's going to, if we don't see a spell, we're going to bottom it. And either, they could have another into the royal, which is like annoying, but. Okay, resolve this. Okay, I'm going to bottom that. And then either we get a spell here or we get a land for um, for uh, activating Ascendant Spirit. Awesome. So we get a spell here. We get to draw. We get to go to combat, I want to say. And I think we are safe to attack with Ascendant Spirit here. Okay. Let's go ahead and activate. Do they have? Yeah, I expected that. Um, that is a okay. Like this, there our our opponent here seems to just be playing from the back foot, just right from the get go. Like they, you know, after we dealt with their their two uh, and three drop, they just, you know, kind of have played from the back foot. We haven't taken a single point of damage this game. Put a charge counter on it. Spend two mana only to cast a kick spell. All right. So I have a lot of mana here. Sure. They get some bird. They have another kick spell? No. All right. Activate Thermal Alchemist. Deal one damage. Let's see what we get off of this. Okay, not a spell. <laughs> this is a sorcery, right? Yeah. Um, so what could we do here? We could... Inspiration. Actually... Don't we just have lethal? Yeah, we just have forced them to block, right? They, they block this. Yeah, so actually... We are good. I'm actually just gonna go... To combat. And attack with both. If they choose to block the Delver. They are dead. Um, so this is like kind of like. It's not really a bluff. Uh, it's a. They should know that Igni's inspiration is in my hand. Um, 
Okay. They have Into the Royal. I'm, I'm going to damage. All right, so they are dead. Because they chose... I, I, I'm using this as a teaching uh, moment. They are dead. So I'm going to activate Thermal... Like, they, they, they needed to chump there. I think they were probably still losing the game, but... Um, now I point this at their face. Uh, they either negate or die. Okay, they are dead. All right. Uh, and it doesn't really matter what we get. And there we go. And that is the game. All right, so there you go. That is the deck. Um, as you saw, we were 3-0. You know, just those three games were played in a row and just three good wins. Uh, we played against blue eye, some form of blue eye control. It was hard to tell because our opponent, I think, only cast a single removal spell or something. Um, we played against, um, you know, mono white aggro and uh, were able to take them down very narrowly. Um, but still being able to beat this deck with elite spell binders and, and you know, um, Luminarch Aspirants um, with what we've got here, very, very satisfying. Um, and then we kind of played this, you know, a little bit more, you know, um, I don't want to say janky, but, you know, probably a little bit more budget, um, you know, um, blue-green kicker deck. Um, that still had some good cards in it, you know, probably had more rares in it than this deck. Um, and again, took it down fairly easily. Um, fairly straightforward, I think. So, like, I, again, I try and make a deck that, you know, is easy to play. Um, Ascendant Spirit feels so good still. Um, you know, this is probably a good craft, again, if you're just trying to build something like this. Um, consider Delver Fading Hope is such a powerful card. Um you know, uh, you see a guard approach, you know, uh, was a little, you know, under, underwhelming, but it, it, de um, you know, or can seem underwhelming, but did its job. That's why it's a two of, it did the job where our opponent casts, you know, uh, I forget what it's called, but you know, the banishing light effect. Um, and we were able to save, um, our ascendant spirit, um, from getting exiled. Play with fire. Great. Magmatic channeler great um being a four four like a two mana four four a lot of the time and then even thermal alchemist you know if you're trying to build like a, a budget deck you you could just you know build this there's this plus there's another one from um you know midnight hunt or something or crimson vow where it, it's a similar effect of when you cast a spell you deal one damage you could try and build a deck like that um and if you could you make you make it blue red you put expressive iteration in it and it's great um, so yeah, really interesting, um, uh, to see that a deck like this can do well. Again, not top tier, not going to win a tournament, but for purposes of, you know, playing it, maybe completing your daily missions, um, trying to get some, some gold while playing on the ladder, um, something like that can, um, this can definitely fill that job. And I, I hope that you, uh, either, you know, use this for that purpose for fun or, you know, take it as inspiration to make your own deck, make a budget deck in this form. Um, so, yeah, hope this deck has been helpful to you. If it was, remember, please leave a like and um, comment and let me know. And consider subscribing. I'm really trying to, you know, um, put all the good content out there to help people um, enjoy Arena to its full ex extent. Um, all right, that is going to do it for me. Look out for more videos in the future, and I'll see you guys for the next one.